find an equation of a sphere if one of its diameters has endpoints 214 and 4310. Well, the equation of a sphere is x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared plus z minus, uh, let's use m, quantity squared is equal to the radius squared. And the center of this sphere is h k m, and the radius of this sphere is r. All right, great. So we need these two values. We need the center and the radius. If you have endpoints of a diameter, then that distance between those two points would be the diameter. So let's just put this point as 214 and this other point as 4310. we need the distance between these two points. So we have to use the distance formula. We have the distance between two points is the square root of the subtraction of the x's squared the subtraction of the y squared and the subtraction of the z squared. Okay, our two points are 214 and 4310. Subtracting the x's, 4 minus 2, subtracting the y's, 3 minus 1. You can get the order mixed up, it's okay. Subtracting, in this particular equation, uh, subtracting the z's, 10 minus 4. And so the distance between those points would be the diameter. And for us, that's going to be the square root of 2 squared, which is 4, another 4, and 6 squared, which is 36. So the distance between those points is the square root of 44. If we want, we can call it 2 times the square root of 11. It's probably fine to leave it as the square root of 44. The diameter is that. Great. And the diameter is half the radius. Uh, the diameter is twice the radius. So we'll take half of that, and that would be our radius. So the radius then is 2 root 11 divided by 2, which is the square root of 11. Now we just need the center. And we're going to get the center by finding the midpoint between our, our two points. So we use the, use the midpoint formula. The midpoint formula is just the average of each component. So we add the x's and divide by 2. We add the y's and divide by 2. And we add the z's and divide by 2. So our two points again were 214 and 4310. 214 and 4310. So our midpoint will be 6 over 2 for x, 4 over 2 for y, 
14 over 2 for z. 3, 2, 7 is the midpoint. The midpoint is the center of the circle. So we have the center, we have the radius, root 11. Now we're done. The answer to the question is x minus 3 quantity squared, y minus 2 quantity squared, z minus 7 quantity squared is equal to 11. We need the radius squared on the other side of the equal.